Hi, my name is Jesse Taylor. I'm 21 years old, and I'm originally from Niagara Falls, Ontario, but for the past three years I've lived in Toronto, Ontario. Um, this video is not something I'd usually do. Uh, I don't like talking about things like this usually, but I felt this needed to be done. It's something everyone should talk about. Uh, it is a personal thing, bullying, for a lot of people, but when you talk about it, it not only makes you feel better, but it helps others too if they listen. So I felt I had to make this video, and I'm glad I'm making this video. Bullying sucks. <laughs> it's something I've had to deal with personally since I, c I can't even remember when. Probably since I was 10 years old. Each person has their own story about bullying and why they're bullied, but I guess mine is, uh, I was bullied, or I'm still bullied, uh, is because uh, I'm gay. The way I walk, the way I talk, people I guess didn't like it, or it was different and people didn't know how to deal with it. I don't know, I guess they weren't used to it. So. I would get pushed around, punched, name called. It made school hard. It made wanting to get up in the morning and go to school difficult. I never wanted to go to school because I knew every day would be the same. Be the same thing over and over again. And I didn't want to have to face that. For me, it got the worst, uh, to the worst point, uh, probably in grade nine. When I went to high school, uh, it was, uh, terrifying. It was probably the worst experience of my life so far. In high school, all the boys hated me because I didn't like sports because I only hung out with females because, uh, you know, I don't, <laughs> I'm assuming that's why. They just didn't like me. It would get to a point where I would purposely uh, of purposely take different halls to get to class to avoid where I knew these boys' lockers were or where they hung out. There's certain people definitely that I remember because of what they did, and it it still it still hurts when you think about it. I'm over it. Like I've grown up, and it I realized that it was high school and whatnot, but you still remember these things. These are things that don't go away. Gym class was hell, utter hell, because I was so unathletic and everyone else in my gym class was an athlete. Change room was the worst because I would be afraid to get undressed in front of these guys because they would take my clothes and hide them. They would take my clothes and throw them in the toilets. They would try and embarrass me while I was naked getting changed just to, to play sports which is not what something I wanted to do in the first place. School bus abuse, I don't understand how people get away with it. The kids at the back of the bus would yell faggot, would yell homo, just words that <laughs> when you're uh, 14 years old you don't want to hear. You don't want to hear every day of your life and they would throw things at my head from the back of the bus. I remember uh, in grade nine this one guy, I remember him vividly because he was the worst, he would take his change from his backpack, pennies and quarters and nickels, whatever, and he would whip them across the bus at the back of my head. So I would go home bleeding because the coins would cut me because he whipped them at my head. I'd go home bleeding, but I would stop outside my house and wash the blood off of my head before I went inside because I didn't want my mom to know that I was being bullied. I do regret not telling her because, I don't know, maybe it could have been, maybe it could have been resolved. School did nothing about it. They knew it was happening. In class even, I would answer questions in class and they would 
mock me and repeat what I was saying, but in a really flamboyantly gay voice, because, you know, that's hysterical. And uh, they weren't even doing it quietly. It was so loud that everyone in the class could hear, and they would all laugh. And the teacher didn't even do anything. The teacher would continue his lesson as if nothing happened, even though he would hear. So after four years of name-calling abuse, physical abuse, after four years of bleeding and bruises, I went to university. And that's when things actually started to look up. I was happy and I made male friends for the first time, which is something I wasn't used to. Uh, there were people who not only liked me, but were like me. We shared interests and they just, we just got each other and it was great. It was, it, it was new to me and I remember the, <laughs> I remember the first week of university I sat in my dorm room and I cried because I was happy for the first time in a long time. I'd like to say that bullying stopped, but it, it does continue still to the day, to this day from everyone from acquaintances to strangers. Um, it doesn't stop after high school. It continues on. It does. I'm not going to lie. But you learn to deal with it better because, well, I learned to deal with it better because I developed into myself. I learned who I was and I, I had this, have this confidence now. And um, I can deal with the bullying. I can deal with the name calling. When I see these stories of kids on the news who have been bullied extensively and then they uh, take their lives, it, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. I cry every time I read one of those stories. It is it's devastating to me because I know exactly what they're going through. I know how it is to deal with stuff like that. And it breaks my heart because I know that if they would have waited, if they somehow had waited a little bit longer, things would have gotten better and they would have realized that there's so much more to life and so much more that they could have seen and they could have been happy. I know that if I would have done that in high school, I would never have known what it's like to be happy, known what it's like to be accepted, and known what it's like to have friends who care about you. I'd like to say that all the people throughout my life who have bullied me, that I have forgiven them, but I can't say that. You don't forget not wanting to wake up in the morning because you know you have to go to school and by the end of the day you'll go home bloody. You'll never forget being called faggot a hundred times a day, every day, for seven, eight years. You don't forget things like that. If I had any advice, I would probably say that you have to hang on, you have to pull through, I hope that you have a strong support system because that always helps having friends and family who are there for you and you know you could talk to about things. I managed to stay alive and at the end of the day um, still be somewhat happy even though the next day I knew it was going to be hell. As tough as it may be that day, you have to think that in the future it will change. It'll get better and One day you will be happy. That's the thing I've learned through all this. That no matter how hard it was, right now, I'm happy. It's different. And I'm happy with myself. So I wish the best for everyone right now who's being bullied. I know how tough it is, but I know one day you will be happy.